Okay, so in this video, we use the method of integration. We're still talking about the method of integration, trigonometric substitution, to evaluate the given integral. So our given integral, so this is exam, this is already example number five. We are to evaluate the integral of x cubed over 36x squared plus 25, quantity raised to the power of 3 halves dx. Now we can see here, we have an algebraic integrand. And from the pattern in the denominator, that's 36x squared plus 25, we take note that that is just like writing uh, 6x quantity squared plus 5 squared. Because of this pattern, as we can see on the right, we it follows this pattern here, the second pattern, a squared plus u squared. Therefore, we can perform integration by, we can proceed with integration by trigonometric substitution. Now we let our u here is 6x and our a here is 5. So we let 6x equals 5 tangent theta. So x is equal to 5 over 6 tangent theta. Find its differential dx. That's 5 over 6 second squared theta d theta. Now again, take note because this is substitution. Our original variable is x and we are introducing a new variable theta. So we have to be able to replace all variables x here in terms of theta. Now we have something to replace dx with to make it in terms of theta. And then we have we have an x cube in the numerator. We have x here, so we can just raise this to the power of 3. So raising x to the power of 3, x cube, that's equal to 125 over 216 tangent cube theta. So we now have something to replace x cubed. And then from the pattern here, so we have 36x squared plus 25 in the denominator. So this is this pattern. So we can use this relationship so that we can express 36x squared plus 25 in terms of theta. So 36x squared plus 25 is just equal to 25 second squared theta. So we have something to replace the integrand. So substituting to our given, we replace our given, we now express it in terms of theta. This is 125 over 216 tangent cube of theta over this is 25 second squared of theta quantity raised to the power of 3 halves times 5 over 6 second squared theta d theta. So we put the constants outside. That's 125 over 216 times 5 over 6 integral of tangent cube theta second squared theta d theta over now we are extracting the square root here of 25 second squared theta and then raise it to the power of 3. So that would be 5 second theta raised to the power of 3. So this is 125 over 216 times 5 over 6 integral of tangent cube theta 
second squared theta d theta over 125 second cube of theta. We can now cancel 125. We can cancel the second squared theta to leave one second theta in the denominator. So for the constant, that's 5 over 1296 integral of tangent cube theta over second theta d theta. Now we have a trigonometric integral. So it's really it really depends on the one solving how to evaluate. So there are cases wherein we can use just tangent second or maybe there are cases wherein we can change tangent and second in terms of cosine. So let's just first use tangent q theta over second theta. So we are going to remove second theta from the denominator. That would be 5 over 1296 integral of tangent cube theta second theta raised to the power of negative 1 d theta. For this form, we're in the tangent theta, where in tangent theta has an odd exponent, we factor out tangent second 1, 2, 9, 6, integral of tangent theta, or we can write second theta first. So second theta, tangent theta, d theta. We removed 1 from tangent cube theta, so what's left is tangent squared theta. And we have a negative 1 here for an exponent for second theta, but then we removed 1 from negative 1. That would give us negative 2. So second theta to the power of negative 2. So the rule is, once you're able to factor out second theta tangent theta, you have to express the remaining trigo functions in terms of second using identity. So we write 5 over 1296 integral of tangent squared theta is second squared theta minus 1 times second theta to the power of negative 2. Second theta tangent theta d theta. Distributing this is 5 over 1,296 integral of, when we distribute second to the power of negative 2 theta, we multiply it to second squared theta. That would give an exponent of 0. So that's just equal to 1 minus second theta to the power of negative 2. Second theta tangent theta d theta. Then next would be to substitute. So we let u be equal to second theta so that du equals second theta tangent theta d theta. So substituting, that's 5 over 1,296 integral of 1 minus u to the negative 2 du. Integrating, so again that was 1, that was, so in continuation, that's 5 over 1,296 integral of 1 minus u to the negative 2 du. So that's 5 over 
1296 times u minus 1 over or that would give us that would give us u to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c so that's 5 over 1296 u plus 1 over u plus c but let's try to recall what is u u is second of theta so we replace u with second theta 5 over 1296 times second theta plus 1 over second theta plus c but 1 over second theta is cosine theta so 5 over 1296 times second theta plus cosine of theta plus c but again theta is not our original variable we now draw our right triangle to express second theta and cosine theta in terms of x so since since we let 6x be equal to 5 tangent theta so 6x equals 5 tangent theta so that tangent of theta equals 6x over 5 recall this is opposite over adjacent so the opposite side is 6x and the adjacent side is 5 therefore the hypotenuse is 36x squared plus 25 we're looking for second so second of theta we recall second theta is hypotenuse over adjacent so that would be square root of 36x squared plus 25 over adjacent is 5 and that cosine theta is the reciprocal that's adjacent over the hypotenuse so that's 5 over square root of 36x squared plus 25 so we use that to substitute now that's 5 over 1296 times square root of 36x squared plus 25 over 5 plus 5 over square root of 36x squared plus 25 plus c we combine the two fractions 5 over 1296 times the LCD is 5 square root of 36x squared plus 25. So this divided by 5, that's square root of 36x squared plus 25, multiplied to square root of 36x squared plus 25, that gives us 36x squared plus 25 plus this denominator divided by 36 square root of 36 x squared plus 25 would give us 5 times 5 that gives us 25 plus c we cancel out 5 so that's 1 over 1 2 9 6 times 36 x squared plus 50 over square root of 36 x squared plus 25 plus c but we can still factor out the common factor here which is 2 so that's 2 over 1 2 9 6 
times 18x squared plus 25 over square root of 36x squared plus 25 plus c. So we simplify our answer 2 over 1296. We divide that. So what's left is 18x squared plus 25 over 648 square root of 36x squared plus 25 plus C. And that is our final answer.